From the stormy waters of the Sugaru Strait to a groundbreaking feat of engineering buried deep beneath the ocean floor, this is the story of how Japan built the Seikan Tunnel, the world's longest and deepest underwater tunnel. For centuries, crossing Japan's Tsugaru Strait separating the islands of Honshu and Hokkaido was a perilous journey. Treacherous storms, violent currents and freezing winters made the ferry route infamous. In 1954, tragedy struck when a typhoon sank five ferries, killing over 1,400 passengers. The disaster pushed Japan to find a safer solution. By the 1960s, engineers proposed an audacious plan, a 54-kilometer-long tunnel beneath the seabed, deeper and longer than anything ever attempted. Construction began in 1971. The challenge? The Strait's geology unstable volcanic rock, fault lines and crushing water pressure 240 meters below sea level. Engineers used a drill-and-blast method, digging pilot tunnels to drain groundwater and stabilize the rock. Danger was constant. Toxic gas leaks, flooding and cave-ins claimed 34 lives. At its peak, 3,000 workers labored in shifts, inching forward just 30 centimeters a day. After 17 grueling years and $7 billion, the Seiken Tunnel opened in 1988. Its main tunnel stretches 23.3 kilometers underwater, longer than the Channel Tunnel. Massive ventilation systems, emergency stations, and a rail line shielded passengers from the hostile environment above. Though overshadowed by faster ferries and planes, the tunnel remains a lifeline, surviving earthquakes and blizzards. Today it's a testament to human grit, where engineers literally moved mountains to conquer the sea. The Seikan Tunnel redefined what's possible. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.